Alrighty, hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now, before we do start, let me just say a few things. Now, my friend Blaze from the Blessed Heroes helped me put together a tournament bracket of what ifs. Right now over my community tab, there are four different polls. The winner from each poll goes into a final and fifth poll, and determines the next series I do. There's a Sukuna's Descendant, a Gojo's Descendant, a Batman, and a Joker Deku. There's even a Hanma Deku. Now, there's a Moon Knight Deku in there somewhere along with a Chainsaw Man. And that is just some of the ones. There are even a few ideas I may redo, such as Bone Manipulation of 110 Quirks and Nomu Deku. Now, with that being done and set out of the way, go check out my friend Blaze. He helped me set all that up. And I'm actually very thankful he helped me with that. Anyway, guys, whenever that does get a ton of votes on it, I will put them into a final poll. Determine which ones have won, and continue from there. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I do believe that that does give me a time to go into the review. And the last part, Deku and his crew left Amazon Lily. Deku got a ship upgrade, and him and his crew got the Denden Mushies. Meaning, they are more reliable with contacting people than with phones. Now, the ocean is a very big place, and it's a very weird place. Phones aren't always reliable, especially whenever you're sailing through the ocean for days, and there's no cell towers anywhere. Now, with that being said, currently Deku and his crew, they are heading out to Water 7. They need to find somebody who can live on the ship and help repair it. They do have Oswe, but she's not only their navigator, she is their shipwright. Well, helmsman, I mean. They need a proper shipwright to actually help repair this thing, rather than just help them patch holes and make sure this bitch does not sink. Now, with that being said, they have a cook and they have somebody aboard who helps take care of the ship. Deku, as the captain, has also been doing a few things. The crew also found out about something Deku has not wanted to reveal to them for some time. They found out that Deku, he's a father, and he has a daughter, with Boa fucking Hancock, so there's that. Now, with that all being said, right now let's cut a few days later, where things have been a bit tricky. They've only ran into the world government a few times. The world government, ever since Impel Down was basically freed of its inhabitants, has been looking for Kirishima and the prisoners. All of them are escaped and using military vessels currently at their disposal. They are all menaces. People from level 6 ran off. And the ones who didn't form into Deku's Grand Fleet? Yeah, they took their shit and ran. They are trying their best to hide. And that right now is where everything is at. Toru leads Deku's Grand Fleet with Ivankov at her side. A powerful ally. And Ivankov just so happens to be a founding member of the Revolutionary Army. Ain't that something? Now, with that all being said, Deku and his crew, they are heading out to Water 7. Not only have they encountered the Marines, they've encountered other pirates. And things have been a bit fun and a little bit difficult. Now, currently, Deku and his crew, they do eventually arrive. But things have been a little... odd. As right now, let's cut to about three days earlier. Where the crew, they were sailing through the ocean. And things seemed okay and fine. And right now, there actually is Bakugo, who does sit in the crow's nest, somewhat looking around. He has his dumbbell, right now him curling it, and his bottle of sake. Right now Bucko taking a sip from it, and going to actually put down his weight. Him stretching his other arm and picking it back up. Him starting to curl it again. As you know Bucko, he doesn't hear a sound. Him looking up and looking around. Right. No, no, that wasn't his observation hockey. That was... No. Wait. Hmm. This thing's off. Baka looking around. Was that sound the wind? 
Hmm. Okay. Buck go. Him going to turn. Seeing his den den mushy currently somewhat slithering down the side pole. Hem going to turn, bring his hand out as there's a slither onto his hand. Hem bring it up and asking, What? Hmm? Anything odd? No, no, I just... Something's been off. What do you mean off? We've been encountering a ton of things so far. Pirates, marines, what's off about it? I don't remember the sea being this active. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, you're right about that. Though, we don't really travel on a ship this big. Right about that, I guess. Listen. All I'm saying is... Never mind. <laughs> what? Aren't we heading in the wrong direction? No, Bucko, we're heading in the right direction. Though you usually like to get lost. I don't get lost. I just... I know where I'm going. Sure, Bakugo. Now, currently the crew, they do hear a sound. And Deku himself is going to turn. Currently, him, looking over the side, as actually Zosui. Who does look going to turn. Her, right now, shouting to somebody about what to do. And about how exactly they need to turn on the engine. And Deku, he has a turn to Oswe. Her, currently running over, and talking about it. They need to make sure the propellers are actually working. She's pretty sure that sound that they're hearing, it isn't good. She turns rumor to rumors about it, but it really is not good right now. What is it? Ah, crap, crap, crap. We, I need you to go, go below deck. Get Todoroki, get Denki, get anyone. Get anyone you can and turn on the propellers. What's going on? Just do it. Trust me. Now, Deku does a turn. Adrian and does a run over and look up, shouting for Bako to get ready because she thinks that there's a threat coming in. And Bako does a look around, not seeing anything. Okay, not good. Now, currently Deku, he does a run below deck. Him finding Kirishima as him and Mina do something to jump up. Jiro a bit confused as Reno she is uh, trying to ask about what's going on. And Deku, he is a uh, tell Kirishima. He needs him to come below deck right now. The ship needs the engines on. And Kirishima, he's confused. However, he is going to run over to Deku as the two to go running down the hall. Now, there currently is Asui. Who she is trying to do a few things. Right now she's trying to do what she can because the threat on their tail, it's going to bite off more than their tail. Now, with that, Asui, she does somewhat panic, and Bako, he is a bit on guard. However, he is a leap down from the guard tower and smashed onto the ship. Him yelling about how he doesn't think this being where a giant ship, or a giant fish, I mean, does come smashing up out of the water. Bako, looking up as right now, the Sea King, does a smash down to the ship, grabbing and sucking it down. As the ship does go down its massive gullet. Now, Currently, the entire ship is at a rock and shake. And the moment Deku's that feel something strange happen, and they go weightless, he actually doesn't sit there in the air for a second. Him processing what's going on, as he is actually feeling himself falling. Him flying forward to the hallway and smashing into the wall. Him holding on, as another actually was to go to land. And another actually is Todoroki. The moment he was thrown around his cabin, he tried to get out. And there actually was where he was able to get above deck, and looking around. Him kind of alarmed. As one of the automatic lights on the ship, you go to turn on, and everyone, they find themselves in the belly of a sea king. Now, this is quite alarming. And their actions with Todoroki, he does a look down and over the ship. Him seeing a few things, and hearing a sound. Right now, Todoroki bringing his hands down to the side, and beginning to start covering the ship in ice. A thick, thick layer of it. Now, their actions is everybody else who they are trying to get a few more things in order, and there actually is Bakugo, who right now after smashing down and breaking through the floor, he is kind of angry, because that fucking hurt. And another actually is Todoroki, who he is trying to look around and call out for everyone. As Asui herself, she is trying to hold down her lunch, and 
Fact of the matter is, she does feel a bit injured on her legs. And the crew, they're kind of confused about what to do. As everyone, when they did get their things in proper order, there was Todoroki, who kind of mentioned what he's pretty sure they saw. Because, uh, looking up, there's no stars in the night sky. I mean, he's on night patrol, but this is trippy. Now, everyone, they were so much trying to talk about it. This is not good. And things, they certainly didn't seem good. And there actually was Izuku. Izuku tried to make things quite clear. If he's correct, they were swallowed by a sea king. This is very bad. Very, very bad. And I have one, they're trying not to panic. However, fact of the matter is, they're probably miles under the ocean right now. If they do get spit up, the pressure underwater will kill all of them, the ones of them who are devil for users. And if it doesn't immediately liquefy the insides of the people who aren't, they aren't going to have enough oxygen to get to the surface. And the entire crew, they're all kind of freaking out. However, there actually is Deku, who right now doesn't want to sit there pounding his fist on the table, as everyone did look down and see Deku. Him staying there and trying to talk and yell about it. Everyone's losing their mind. And there actually is the fact that Jiro, she stood up and walked away from the table. Deku, turning his head, watching her walk down the hallway. He's not too sure what she's doing. But right now, the fact is, she was acting calm. And he's not too sure if she was numb calm or about to fucking lose it calm. Since those two, they're very similar. But also very, very different. Because one is about to have a mental breakdown with the other... Myko Psycho. What fun. Now, currently I have one they were talking about a few things. Denki, he decided to stay up on deck. It might smell in the belly of a sea king, but there's not too much they can really do. Him currently looking up. As right now they're actually Deku. Todoroki is keeping an eye on the ice. And as long as that ice is there... They may not be digested or have this boat break down, so there is that. I mean, the metals on the ship, it should help, but there's also the fact that the parts of it that aren't metallic, it might get harmed. And Deku, he is a bit worried. He already has a few ideas and a few plans. Him and Bako can try and harm the inside of the Sea King. I mean, he fires holes up into the top of its stomach into the dark, and hey, maybe they can give it indigestion. Buck go slashes away at it, and hopefully gets it to spit them back up, because hey, you swallow something that's fighting back. Or, well, there's a few other ideas. And one of them involves Kendo. I mean, Kendo has a ton of medicine. If they find something the Sea King doesn't like, or, well, you know, just use her Opa Opa no Mi abilities, they might be able to get out of here. But at the same time, that could be more dangerous. I mean, Kendo's still trying to understand them, and even get the hang of them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It goes on and on and on. And there actually is Mina. Mina even broke the idea using her own poison in the belly of a sea king. I mean, if she does it, this thing will go to the surface and puke. Or it might just puke underwater. And that was the main problem. Now, that was kind of where they were at. I mean, they're kind of worried about going out the uh, other end of this thing, and that's that. Now, Currently, as they are somewhat talking about it, there actually is Deku, who does somewhat sit there in the bird's nest, thinking about a few things. Him, bring up his hand, and going to get ready about a few things. He wants this to actually be a bit more calculated. Let's see. Deku going to fire into the distance. Right a little beam of light shining up bright and flying through the sky. As something else inside of its stomach, it's all the beam of light. It arcing up in the sky. I was trying to do so, so I'm going to sit there 
on a piece of floating debris, which the acid has yet to melt. Now, they do to look down. The sea is, well, the stomach acid, it won't immediately kill them. I mean, they were swallowed earlier, and as long as they stayed on land, uh, things didn't get bad for them. Though this is really going to hurt a lot, right? It's going to be real tingly. The person putting their hand down into the acid, them putting their hand in, and find that it does not immediately dissolve. After their finger didn't feel burning but tingly, they were able to pull it back, seeing that the skin was still normal, but just getting a little red. And that made them concerned, as right now they do go to look around and do a few things. Them, on their own, makeshift little craft. Now, currently Deku, he does, I'm going to sit there. Him, still bringing his hands up and aiming in a different direction. If he hits the same spot, he can make this right. Though, hitting up into the top of the stomach, it is the best way. Heading up into his esophagus? Yeah. Make it want to rise to the surface. Make it choke. That's the best option. And Deku, he was trying to have trouble. He wanted to know exactly how they may have landed in this thing's stomach. Where they're really going. And how this really might all end. And that does really mean a lot. As right now, Deku, he has a blast of light up into the air again. And currently, Deku, he does have a few more ideas. As right now, as Deku does not sit there, he does go to do one thing. He has a turn his head, seeing something in the distance. It, right now, drifting towards them, as it does go to see the ice. As Deku does see somebody floating on a piece of debris. And currently, Deku, he has a turn. Him shouting about how somebody went overboard. And not everyone, they just don't want to run over. Them looking around. As, right now, Deku, he actually does not leap down and smash onto the ground. Him looking around, and actually going to find a piece of rope. Him grabbing onto it, and throwing it over the side. As the person, they grab onto it, and they actually start to climb up. However, when they do so, going to scream, Deku actually is going to run over. Him bending down and pulling the rope up, as right now the person, they smash right into him, as of tumbling backwards. Him landing on the ground as this girl he's never seen before is... Oh, not one of his crewmates. Now, everyone they did actually come running. And whenever Deku pulled the girl onto their ship, they were kind of surprised. As Denki does stare on right now at Deku, living another one of his dreams. The guy found a fucking mermaid. A mermaid. Now, Denki does not sit there. And right now he does want to grit his teeth as he has come running over. Him actually going to start bring his hand out and grabbing onto his jacket. Him now pulling it off. As he, whenever he does a run over, he actually just want to hand it off to the girl. As Deku, he actually just want to bring his hand up and push her off of him. <sighs> You're covered in acid. Sorry. I mean, thank God. I'm happy I found another ship. Another? Yeah, uh, the ones that survived the fall. They get eaten alive by the acid. Though, it swallowed you guys with a massive amount of seawater. Hmm. Right. So, you're a mermaid. <laughs> Yes, I know. Listen, as nice as it would be to continue this conversation, I do have to ask, is there a way for me to clean up? There would be, yes. Momo. Deku turning his head. Informing Momo and Mina to help the mermaid clean up. And he does even get someone to turn to Kendo. As Kendo, her eyes are wide, staring at the mermaid. She's heard things, but seeing one in real life. I mean, she she thought on Drum Island they were just a fairy tale. But they're real. And that does want to alarm her. Her is not running over, trying to help out. 
talking about how she's a doctor. And she would at least like to give her a medical checkup after everything is said and done. To make sure she's okay, of course. You know, because having a mermaid as a patient, she's not a fish doctor? Nah, she'll figure that out later. I mean, a mermaid. So cool. Now, currently Deku, he doesn't own go to stare back up. Him thinking about it for a second. A massive amount of seawater. Hmm. Todoroki. Hmm? What's up? Ideas? Other than keeping the ice, covering the ship? Not much. Right now, we're kind of a massive iceberg. I'm not sure. Hmm. This thing's a fish. Let's see. If an animal gets an upset stomach, they try and give themselves a solution. What do you know, Izuku? Hmm. Deku thinking back. He remembers it a bit. He remembers seeing once in a park this dog that would just eat grass. It's a bit weird. But he remembers now. I mean, the person he was supposed to kill, they were rich and influential. However, they had this little dog. And the dog had some sort of issue. It was something wrong with them. He saw them give the dog medicine, and then after that, it just ran away and ate and ate and ate grass until it vomited. Huh. Maybe it's that. It is a solution. Deku turning. And at least going to give Todoroki an order. Talking about how he wants Todoroki to give this thing a sour stomach. And Todoroki, he currently has a turn. Him walking over and bringing down his hand. As running the Sea King, which has been swimming through the water, it does start feeling a few things. It already felt this weird pain in its stomach. It already felt something strange. And Deku, he was taking pot shots at it. However, right now, the Sea King, it does just open its mouth. It inhaling water, as right now it does it down. And currently, everyone, they do just don't hear the sound of a waterfall. As Deku does a look around, and he does go to see it. The water eventually rising. And Deku, he actually does somewhat go to turn. Him yelling at Turkey about what to do, as he himself does that aim all the way up and put his fingers together. As right now Bok go, he is at a watch on. Turkey bringing his hand out and going to start freezing more and more of the water. Now, currently the ship, it does go sit there. Turkey running out and directly onto the water, or the stomach acid, which has been frozen over. And Todoroki, as the level is starting to rise in the area, he does a sit there. Ham going to freeze more and more of the stomach acid and the water rushing down its gullet. And over that thing to start to go towering up into the air, it does eventually get a clog of the stomach. And then what is going to happen, the Sea King does start to choke. Now, it does start to rush up to the surface for air. It unable to breathe currently, with all the water stuck. Now, the Sea King does go flying up into the surface. And right now he's going to arc over into the sky. There are actually where everyone, they use the start to feel a shift. Deku bending down and grabbing onto the ship. As currently Deku, he's going to bring his hand up and blast a massive hole into the Sea King. Now, Deku blasts through part of its stomach. And right now the Sea King, it does get to regurgitate everything. Now, the entire ship, it does go rocketing around the Sea King's stomach. As the ice does go to get unlodged, and remember they do go rushing up its gullet. Eventually the ship being spat out along with a bunch of other things. Debris and other animals inside of its stomach. And the Sea King is going to dive back down. Currently it injured. Now, Deku, he does, I'm going to sit there. Right now him bringing his hands up, covered in slime, and going to try and wipe himself off. Ugh. Not cool. 
Is everyone okay? Right now, Deku turning. As currently Todoroki, he does want to lay there on the ship deck. Him bring his hand up, and then want to drop it. Him want to sit up and wipe away his head. Him talking about how that's definitely the grossest thing he's ever experienced. <laughs> We're alive. Deku turning. As right now Denki, he does want to come walking up the stairs. Him. Oh God. This. This all looks horrible. Now. Deku, here's at least gonna yell over at Denki. Talking about how he needs to do a few things right now. And Denki, he kind of is a bit more alarmed. As Deku, he does a stand up and walk over. Him boring his hand up and grabbing onto Denki's shoulder. Telling him, start cleaning up right now. Afterwards, they're gonna have a conversation. And after that, a few things are gonna happen. Right now, they gotta wait for the engines to unthaw. And then, they gotta at least repair parts of their sails. Right now, the ship would have to run on gas power. And that, it will be faster, but it also is gonna take some time. They gotta make sure everything's up and running. Because otherwise, right now, they'll be dead in the water. Get to cleaning, he's gonna go shower real quick. Now, Denki, he actually doesn't gonna turn and look around. As right now Bakugo, he actually does come crawling onto the ship. Him bring his hands up, talking about a few things. As he has a yell about how nasty all that shit was. Now, everyone in the ship, they were somewhat thrown around. And all of them, they did not have a lot of fun. And Deku, yeah. Things were certainly interesting today. And right now, he does, he's going to try and meet their new passenger, the mermaid. And right now, the mermaid, they were quite happy that they're free. They're not a sea king's lunch. So there's that. Thank God. Now, currently, Deku and everyone, they do go to do a few things. They try to get everything ready, prepared, and cleaned up. And the ship, wherever it does go to get to Water 7, a few people, they were watching it. Right now, it cruising into port as it is torn up to high hell. And Deku, he actually does, so we're going to sit there. Right now, him going to actually turn and inform Jira about a few things. Since apparently she's never been to Water 7. Hmm? So, what? The place is all floating on debris? From what I understand, yeah. That's about it. It's supposed to float, but it doesn't. Don't know the whole story. Though, they're talking about converting it into a boat. I think the thing was... Never mind. Not really too sure. This place deals with a lot. It's... Crazy, but... It's also a beautiful city. Think we're going to turn. Buck, I want you to... And he's gone. Did you see him? No. I thought you were paying attention to him. <sighs> I'm going to need to buy a fucking leash for that bastard. Momo. Yeah? Find him. I'll be sure to do that. Though... Are you sure... It's a good idea to just leave this ship here like this. We're not leaving it here alone. Listen, or else we will stay on the ship. For right now, we all need to break up into teams. Not only do I need to bu buy the materials to fix this thing, Oswe says from what she found, the damage is pretty bad. If we don't get it looked at or repaired properly, the ship could potentially fall apart. Okay. Right now, the ice is protecting us from a lot. But even then, that melts, and it's not good if we just cruise around like that all the time. We may slip up, or the damage can get worse. So, for right now, what we're doing is simple. We'll buy the metals, buy the material, 
and we'll buy what we need. After that, hopefully we can find someone who can put it all together and get us properly out of here. Now, currently Deku, he does have his crew standing there. And all of them, they've been given their own task. Kendo wants to look around Water 7 and see if he can find anything unique. This place is certainly beautiful. A nice city full of, well, wonders. I mean, they don't have any roads. And they're essentially a floating city. Or, from what she understands, sinking? That's more accurate, I guess. Now, Kendo does have a lot going through her mind. And currently, Deku, he himself just had a head out. And Momo, Momo does try to get her own thoughts in order. She right now is in command. Bakugo is gone. And that means quite a lot. Her, someone smiling, for having a smile wipe off her face. Her, calming down, and then going to turn. And forming all of them. Here's what they got. Right now, she's going to try and hunt down and find Bakugo. That won't be easy. It's going to be a little difficult. The fucker has a tendency to get lost. A lot. And right now, she'll be doing that. Mina and Karishima, they should head out with Denki. Denki needs to replenish their supplies and get everything in order. Proper rations and everything. Spices, you name it. Cured meats, you name it. Get everything he thinks they need. And right now, there actually is where she has someone to look around. Her turning towards Ochako. At least you're going to ask if Ochako does have anything in mind, because she does have a task for her. What is it? If you can, try and help Izuku. But he said he can do it on his own. Yeah, he did. But maybe find information. Head to a bar or some place and see what you can find. You know, loose lips and alcohol and pretty girls. People like to boast. So that'll be your task. <laughs> right. I can do that. And what now? Hers are going to turn. And right now she's going to look at Kendo. And Kendo does already have a task in mind. As right now, there actually is, which is a turn over to Jiro. And our Jiro doesn't want to talk about it. She can actually help, well, Kendo look for supplies. Hmm? Sorry, I need you with me. Lillian. Hmm? Yeah? You're coming with me. If we know Baka correctly, he's probably ran into trouble. <laughs> right. Uh, I can help. <laughs> I know you can. So, you're coming with me. Jiro, you're also coming with me, too. Everyone's breaking up into teams, and... First, I'm going to turn. And look at Todoroki. And he's... Where the fuck did he go? Now, we do currently have Todoroki. Who already himself has walked off the ship because he does have an idea as to where to go. He's intrigued. He hasn't been to Water 7 in some time. I mean, a long time. And he's kind of curious as to what is going on here now. If the same guy's in charge, and if things are okay. Although it does so it take him on a bit of a trip to memory lane. Water 7. And how things are here. Now, currently, that is on his mind. And there actually is the teams that do get to break up. Right now, Momo, Jiro, and Lillian going to try and find Bakugo. Right now, Bakugo lost his fuck somewhere. And right now, the teams not only trying to do a few things, but Deku trying to find a shipwright for their ship and someone to repair it. As right now, we do currently have Deku who he has been trying to find some information. Somebody who could be good on their team. And that does mean quite a bit. As right now we do actually have Momo. Her, Jiro, and Lillian. 
the three are walking down, well, a path. And they're trying to do a few things. They are trying to figure all this out. Or, well, they're sailing down a path, I believe, is the right way to say that. Now, right now they are on a boat. And things are a bit, well, taxing on them right now. They were swallowed by a sea king, and they almost died. But right now, they're kind of stuck on a boat with water all around them. So, there certainly is that. And we do actually have Jiro. Jiro currently is somewhat controlling the boat. Her steering is right now. She has a turn. Lillian going to somewhat turn to Momo. As right now, Momo, she at least ask Lillian if she's alright. I'm fine. I'm a bit concerned about a lot. I'm sure you are. If Papa's okay, I'm sure your Papa's fine, Lillian. You sure? He seemed concerned earlier. What do you mean? Well, a few days ago, the massive sea thing. Sea king. Right. Uh, sorry. It's fine, Lillian. The sea king... The sea king scared me. Scared all of us. Right now, her's going to turn. As Jiro does a look down and nod, Hurley's going to turn to Lillian, talking about how that thing freaked her out too, and she really was not happy to find herself in its stomach. Lillian saw it smiling, as right now she's going to turn and look right at Jiro, running over and going to sort grab onto her leg, giving her a hug. And another extra Jiro's going to look down, her somewhat smiling. As she's a bring her hand in and Lillian does feel a strange sensation in her neck. And G right now Momo does at least turn her head after hearing Lillian so I'll make a sound. As there actually is Jiro, who does go to hold up a weapon and fire it. As right now Momo does a feel things shoot directly into her neck and she doesn't bring her hand up. Her right now about to move as her right is going to go limp. Her falling forwards and into the boat. As there actually is Jiro. Who does go to put down her weapon and put it back on the inside of her pants. Since this little pea shooter, it won't kill. Though, it certainly will be interesting. Momo Yeyorozu, a girl who's a myth in Japan, a part of a pirate crew, and this little creature. It certainly has been interesting. Though, so has her work. Though, She's got to make this look good. If she wants to make sure that Rob understands the mission, understands what's going to happen, they got to make this look good and professional. Make this seem like it, what it is. She will not fail Rob Lucci, the commander of CP9. If she does, then she may very well lose her own position. I mean, being a part of his crew... One of the easiest ways to get things done. Because usually, things always tend to fall. When the structure on the inside is not trusted, secure, or even aligned with their captain. So, the downfall of this crew. Maybe it's just begun. And Rana Jiro's gonna walk over and grab Momo. Her Rana holding onto Lillian and Momo, as she's a turn, her leaping up into the air and beginning to use Gumpo. Her going to run and run get to the top of a building, as she does have her own objective, and where she does need to head to right now. And with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed, and have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.